Namaste, my beautiful people. While I continue to struggle with the bigger projects ahead, I decided to take a little break to once again show y'all how to conquer them sweet, sweet achievements. Today we come back to India as you can see, so we can try to get the inspiring poet achievement, where you need to crank the difficulty up to the max and convert all four Rajas before the Gorids start raiding. First things first, we switch the difficulty to hard and jump into the last scenario of the poetry galore campaign, Prithviraj. I could explain precisely what's the parameters here, but why not let my buddy Chan do so? Poets have reached the courts of four great dynasties. To whom shall we tell our tale to first? Whoever we choose will help us carry Prithviraj's legend throughout India. So, they expect us to choose one, but that's just not gonna cut it. Instead, we will pause the game and manually tell every single one of the poets to yell their beautiful rhymes of telemarketing scams to the Rajas, because they won't start until we unpause, and when we do, they'll all start at the same time. But that didn't do anything, you might say. Well, the thing here is that any conversion has a random duration time that ranges between 5 and 9 seconds for units, so each of these poets are telling a poem that can take any amount of time within this range. The simultaneous conversion of two or more Rajas will only happen if two or more conversions end at the lowest amount of time of the four. This wasn't it. Truth be told, you need to redo this until you are satisfied. Be it with all four, a very decent three Rajas converted, or like this one, where two end up falling for our poetic shenanigans. But two is not enough. We're here to get the achievement, not settle for what we can get. We're not Porsche going to Berlin conference. Because the chance of all four happening at the same time is pretty small, this is a process that can take quite a long time. I could explain why and show the math behind it and all the additive or multiplicative percentages of chance, but what the fuck do I know, I'm not a nerd. In fact, I decided to record this after work around 7 in the morning, thinking it would be quick, and just to get the four Rogers to convert at the same time here, took me an hour. But you heard the man, we are inspiring poets. And look at all the garbage we get from our Roger friends. Thanks buddy, at least you think I'm talented. Now, because the achievement is already there, you don't have to actually play the rest of the scenario. But you don't come to these videos for pure, unadulterated quality content, you wanna see some wacky shit. So let's beat the legend of Prithviraj on hard. If you haven't played this before, the scenario is a mix of getting railed every 10 minutes by the Gorids out east, and constantly by the other three enemies, Pagan, Yadava and Chole. But it's nothing that a castle here won't mitigate the damages. And also another one here, for the trick. Two castles, because this is on hard. The first raid begin at 12 minutes and we have already prepared a decent amount. So much so that they barely cause any damage. Fuck it, I'll go straight into the offensive if the raids are this easy. Just need to make this army look a bit beefier first. And survive the second raid, that's also important. This time they come from multiple sides and it seems like they have been watching my videos going straight for the war crimes like this. But we beat them to death and start pushing towards Yadava, because they're the closest. The army is only Trebs and Shavarma riders, to siege from far and defend the Trebs. Yadava naturally comes to defend, and then really comes to defend, but the Trebs are unbothered and we aim at the town center, which crumbles. Sadly so did all our army, but it's fine, cause soon we have another army coming. Crap, they decided to attack me. Nothing that's some good old slam poetry to annoy their elephants so much, they die. Or in some other cases, they like it and join us. Oh god, how many camels are they sending? Our Shivan Hindu heaven, that's a lot of camels. Lucky we have the castle here. Well, crap. Nothing too worrying though, because we have three more cities. Like this one, that has a standing army waiting for these assholes. This one down south might be in trouble though. Hey, hey, get out of here, leave my tower alone. Well, that didn't go too well. It's all good, we still have two cities working tirelessly to supply the poetry machine, and this mighty Mangano showing who's the better siege weapon. We're even reseeding crops. Nothing can stop Prithviraj. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it, they're bringing rams now. I don't want to be pessimistic or anything, but we might be in trouble. In my defense, right now it's a 3v1, so of course they'll destroy my city. And who cares? We still have one. Oh shit. Jokes on them, because I only cared about the achievement. I didn't even like being in India. They don't even eat beef there. This is a quick one just to fill sausage, as we say in Brazil, until I finish the historical battles, which by the way is taking a ridiculous amount of time more than I thought it would. Hopefully this is the last one I'll make before that's done, but take everything I say with a shovel of salt. 